G'day, g'day, or welcome to Dungog, folks. I'm at the beautiful Dungog today with my mate Michael. Hello. Hello. <laughs> We've driven about, oh, how far have we driven? Two and a half hours. We've driven about two and a half hours. I got up at like three in the morning or something. Um, and yeah, picked up Michael and um, we've come up to this um, beautiful old town. We've come up to this beautiful old town of Dungog and we're going to head up to the countryside up in the mountains here and do a plein air painting today. So um, let's get up there. Let's not muck around. It's nice and early in the morning. Let's go paint. I'll just show you guys this old theatre. Just down here a bit. Michael's just um, checking out the area as well. Taking a few photos. And here we go, look at this beautiful old theatre. Old picture feeder. Wow, that's beautiful. Wow, beautiful, beautiful little country town. So yeah, we've come up this way, up in the Hunter Valley, and we're gonna go look for some beautiful views to do some beautiful landscapes. So yeah, let's go paint on this beautiful day. Okay, so we've found a spot. So I'm going to do um, two paintings today. I'm going to do a small contemporary painting. I don't really, um, I well, haven't really done many contemporary paintings before, but I've got, I've got a small one. I'm going to do uh, do that first, a contemporary, and then um, I've got a large canvas. It's a meter long, fifty by fifty centimeters by one meter. And I'm going to um, do that, but not here. I want to find something a bit more with distant views. So, um, but I'll do my contemporary painting here, and then I will um, we'll head up another half an hour or so uh, inland and um, find find another one. So yeah, I'll just show you guys where we're at. So yeah, it's a beautiful spot. Plenty of light and shadow. Got some horses over there. Looks nice over here too. So yeah, this is this is Australia. What it looks like when you head inland a bit. So 
beautiful high rolling hills and views. So with my large canvas, I want to, um, if you guys are familiar with Arthur Struden, Australian um, Impressionist painter from about the late 1800s, um, around 1900, uh, he painted beautiful distant views, um, Australian beautiful landscapes. And um, I want to have a go at doing something like that um, with my larger canvas. But uh, with the um, smaller contemporary one, I can do something here. So, so yeah, Michael's here. He's not mucking around. He's straight into it. <laughs> so you're gonna. What are you gonna do? Two two paintings? Yeah, yeah. Oh, not one here. Yeah, yeah. 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 Over there. yeah. So yeah, we're gonna we're, we're gonna do one here, and we're gonna continue on and head up this road that goes north towards Barrington Tops. And we're gonna find another uh, another one up there. Basically, I want to get. Um, some more atmosphere in my larger painting. So anyway, got the UD, get the gear out. You can have a look here. Bit messy. There's my larger canvas. But I'm gonna, I'm gonna do just a little contemporary one with um with this one here. So yeah. So yeah. Let's get painting. Um, time to set. Yeah. Is it? Is it? No, I'll, I'll do that. I can do that. Oh, I've got a uh, giant stopwatch. Have you? Yeah. Oh, all right. There's one on my phone. No, that's okay. I can I can use it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So basically, what we're going to do is I've got a giant stopwatch here. We're going to give ourselves one hour. We're going to give ourselves one hour to to do a painting each here, and whatever happens, we're going to stop at the one hour, and then we're going to carry on further up, up, um, up north, and um, do another painting. So, what are you doing, Michael? I'm doing the mountains at the back. Yep. And coming down, down into the gully, just in front. Into of the me. valley. So the valley view. You're doing the valley yeah, view and, and the mountain range at the back. Yep, beautiful, sweet. Be quick. Yep. Up. Okay. So yeah, what I'm going to do is I'm going to do this view here, basically of the tree, the mountain range in the back, and the light and shadow of the green grass here. So just that there, uh, with my um, contemporary painting that I'm going to do here. So yeah, one hour. Let's get painting. Pain, pain. Okay, so I'm I'm 30 seconds in, and uh, yeah, I think with a little contemporary painting, I should be able to nail it easy uh, in an hour. Basically, what's happening is is we're going to enter the Singleton Art Prize, which is in a, a month or so time, or a couple of months time. So we thought, well, the, if you're going to enter an art prize in the countryside, you've got to get out to the countryside and paint. So that's why we're out here today. So we're both going to enter and um, wish us luck. And I'll film going out there on the day, show you guys uh, how we went and all that sort of thing.
Oh, we're four minutes in, mate. <laughs> Not looking good. Haven't even started. <laughs> same, same, mate. Okay. Basically... Oh, you're alright, you started? Yeah, I'm in. I think uh, I'll smash this out in 30 minutes. Because right. contemporary, it's so, it's just like, it's not a real detailed painting. It's, it's almost what you'll call minim, minimalist. Yeah, so I think I'm going to, I'm going to do well. Basically, that's where I'm going to put my light. Okay, what I'll do now is get me darkest darks in, which is the tree tree area here. Have to get the name of this town too before we, yeah. uh, so I can put down in the title where it is. So yeah, basically. I've never done a contemporary painting before, or, or I might have, but I don't think I have. So this is a bit of a challenge for me. Oh, so you do these things, right? Yeah. So Michael, have you done contemporary? Yeah. I've, I've, yes. You, yeah. In seascapes. In seascapes. Okay. So tell me in the comments, or at the end of the video, is this painting a contemporary? Do you think it's a contemporary? What is contemporary art? Uh, quite interesting because I looked at um, uh, someone on Facebook's um, art and I thought it was contemporary art. And when I asked, uh, I said, is that um, contemporary? She said it was abstract. So it sort of confused me a bit. So what is contemporary and what is abstract? So um, yeah, so let me know in the comments what you think about that. I'll continue on. Okay, so basically we're seven minutes in, nearly eight minutes.
Okay, what I want to do is when you look out there, out there, hope you guys can see it. There's some highlights on that mountain. I'm going to put a little bit of that and then I'll do the highlights on the grass and get that in. Okay, but first of all, to give it some good distance is I want to put a tiny bit of rural, beautiful, soft blue in the distance here. So yeah, update, 26 minutes in. Michael just said we just gotta keep it keep it loose. And um yeah, well so far with mine, I'm going alright. I'll just do a little bit more of in the mountains and then I'm down in the grass. So I reckon I'll nail it easy in another 30 minutes. I reckon I'll I reckon yeah, by the hour I'll be done. Fingers crossed me mate can get done, eh? <laughs> Come on Michael. I'm going, I'm going. <laughs> Fifteen minutes to go. Okay.
Don't you hate it when you run out of paint? Oh, I hate having to mix again. <laughs> yeah. I'm enjoying uh, leaving a bit of the canvas through, like oh, with yeah. with the um, under, like the wash underneath. Yep, yep. It's not too bad. About to scrub it in, folks. Scrub it in like you're having a bath. <laughs> Just cover the wire of the canvas, basically. I think the whole idea with contemporary is just keeping it really loose and yeah. not don't go overboard of course but well you saw how loose those ones were at that gallery we just came from so yeah we checked out a gallery and they had some contemporary paintings in there this is just down the road there at dungog there about 20 minutes away and um yeah they were real loose and sort of bordering on abstract, but they weren't. So hopefully I've done a little bit of justice here today with this little piece. Oh, bloody hell. <laughs> okay, done the painting in an hour, folks. Michael or Michael, uh, he's just about done, but he's just doing a little bit more, just with his distance. He's just fixing up the distance a little bit, just to create a bit more distance in his. But yeah, he's done, so he was doing that scene down, looking down that way. So I'll show you what I, I done this view here, basically... The, the trees um, and the couple of rolling hills, and it was actually looked a bit different. To, looked a bit different to how how it is now. But anyway, I'll show you the painting. Tell me, you think is this contemporary? Tried to keep it loose, just suggestive, um, you know, bits and pieces here and there, not too detailed, and. Um, Tried to get the colours near the, what I could get. So yeah, tell me what you think in the comments. Is that one contemporary? So what we'll do is we'll uh, pack up and we'll head more north up that way. Maybe another 30 minutes or so till we find hopefully a river or something. And I can have a crack at my big painting. One metre, 50 centimetres by one metre. So uh, let's uh, hit the road and continue on.
Oh well, we drove around for a couple of hours and we lost the light. So come back to part two soon and I uh, will continue on and I'll get this big painting done. If not, I'll do one in the studio and show you guys.